this moment try to create the, like a break in this movement of the mind. Try to create a space right now. One of these patterns of thoughts, one of these patterns of thoughts, we can call it success. We all want to succeed in whatever it is that we feel that we should succeed. Not everybody feels that they should, they should succeed in the same things, although there are some main groups of success. Many people feel that they should succeed in material things like having more money or having a bigger house or being able to travel or some people feel that they should succeed in relationship having a good relationship having a good family or some people feel that they should succeed in the in their jobs in whatever their jobs in whatever their profession are they should succeed and be good at it and this success is a very heavy thing that is on our shoulders. Now, and there is nothing wrong with succeeding itself. The problem is that, in my understanding, success really depends on what we can call, I call, although we don't use it in our, in our society, we don't use this word so much, but succeed depends on karma. Karma means something that is not up to you, some conditions that are given to you, but that they have nothing to do with your, with your volition. It has nothing to do with your will. Or we can even say, the will that you have is your karma. How strong your will is, for example, is your karma. How clear your ideas about what you want to do or not to do is your karma. How intelligent you are is your karma. How many ideas you have in your head is your karma. How strong you are in putting those ideas into, into practice is your karma. How, what a good or bad childhood you have, you had, which, if you have a good childhood, will help you very much on having a more quiet and happy life. The kind of childhood you had depends on your karma. If you had a very bad childhood with very difficult parents, or that was part of your karma, and that childhood will make your life more difficult when you grow up, obviously. It will make you more negative, it will make you more difficult. And of course, a difficult childhood will create more difficulty in having a good relationship. But that's also part of your karma. So, success, which is a fine thing to look for, it really depends on karma. It does not really depend on, on me, on the person, on what I do or don't do. Because what I do or don't do depends on my karma. So, one way to think of success is to be aware in the moment. This is just one way to think of success. Only one way is you look in the moment, you look at your past, and you don't regret anything. You come to the firm conviction, to the firm understanding, not a belief, but you come to the firm 
conviction that there is nothing to regret because everything that happened was supposed to happen. And so in this moment, in this moment, you feel free of your past. You feel free of your past. And if at the same time you have a connection to this moment, you look at your past. You are completely fine with your past. You completely accept your past. You have no regrets about your past. And at the same time, you have a connection to the moment. You can experience the moment. You can experience the amazingness of this moment, of the experience of being in this moment, the experience of existing in this moment. And then, with those two things, no regret of the past and the amazingness of the moments, you do whatever has to be done for the future. That peace that comes with this understanding, that peace that comes with this vision of this moment, is one way that I call success. You succeed in being at peace in this moment independent of what you have done or not have done, independent of what may happen. You have no idea what may happen. But in this moment, you are at peace. And that is success. At this moment, you are at peace. But it's very important, beside this, beside the, the, um, the embracement, the acceptance of your past, it has to be also a clear vision, a clear connection with this moment. Because your experience happens in this moment. This moment is your life. So it has to be, these two ingredients are not replaceable. Both of them have to be very clear and both of them have to appear in this moment. The acceptance of my past, no regrets whatsoever, and a deep connection, a deep sensing, a deep embracement, a deep connection with this moment. In the connection of these two things, I find peace. And this peace is success. 